I'm Alex Enning, and I'm with the Department of Material Science and Engineering. I'm an associate professor. Uh, I'm also responsible for recruitment of graduate students in the Department of Material Science. Uh, my name is Johan Foster. I'm an associate professor in the Material Science and Engineering Department. Um, I also do recruitment with Alex, and I'm also head of recruitment for the Macromolecules and Interfaces Institute. My name is Jack Lesko. I'm the Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Studies in the College of Engineering. Okay, just in terms of the evaluation, you know, the GPS are really important and also recommendations from professors. And the students who have taken the time to do some undergraduate research, you know, it's also something we look at. And especially when the students do not meet uh, the GPA requirement. If, if the grades are relatively low, but the recommendations are very, very strong, uh, sometimes I tend to call the people that they have worked with so that we can give such students real good consideration. A student came in under those conditions, and um, her first semester made 4.0, actually. So here, so. Just looking at people's uh, letters, um, that is uh, that is one good way. How they answered their questions, you know, basically, were they prepared? Are they interested? Um, but then uh, I'll, I'll second what Alex said: is personal contact is is key. Um, just reaching out, saying, "Hey, uh, you know, uh, I'm uh, Professor Foster, and I'm." Uh, and I'm interested in your package. I, I saw that you are interested in, in us and you know what, what type of interest. Very simple, um, but uh, they seem to react very, very well to that personal contact. In working with departments, it's really important, I think, to build the relationships with the graduate directors as well as the faculty um, because it comes down to that relationship in helping them understand what we can do for the departments, but also in recognizing the sorts of characteristics in the students that we don't normally get to see just out of a GPA or, or the GRE. We spend a lot of time with the grad directors as well as the grad coordinators, and the grad coordinators are a very important part of it. In, in, at least helping us understand who are the potential students that they're interested in, um, what are the kinds of characteristics that they're looking for, and then what's the flexibility that they have in the funding. And it really comes down to having a faculty champion to really be able to make sure that you've, you're getting the right person for the department, but you're also getting that information across as to how you can help that student as well, and that's one of the other things that we do in the College of Engineering is provide mentoring and we provide community. And again, I think those are two really key pieces. A lot of times, a lot of these students they don't even look at Virginia Tech. Okay, they apply to all these other schools, and definitely they are not going to get in this school. So when you look at the pool and you make that contact, every student I've sent email to responded. Even when they cannot come, they thank me for, then they give their reasons, you know, I've committed here, or they, you know, it, it's unbelievable. So people have to do something, and it always works out. <coughs> and, I, and I think, even as a kind of a pitch to my colleagues, I think it's uh, really worth our time to uh, go after these, uh, these very good students. Um, I mean, you'll get good stu better students in your group. Um, but a lot of the time, with the help of the grad school, the college, um, they'll come in funded. So I mean, mm -hmm. that's, that that is it's, it's also a, a financial benefit to put a, li a little bit of work on the front end, talk to these students, get the good students here, uh, then they get, uh, for example, uh, you know, the Horizon scholarships or something from the grad school, and that helps then with the research. And then you know, it's a self self perpetuating uh, cycle. But uh, it, it really works out on a completely selfish level. If, if, that's, if that's all you want to look at, just, uh, yeah. I mean, you can get good students. Mm -hmm. And then uh, rather than just going after the pool that's already accepted into the, into the department, and then you look at them, you know, come the fall.